Welcome to Yorkshire Man Models. Today we've got a Convair 106A Delta Dart Interceptor. This is an unboxing review. I've been sent this kit by Matt Baxendale from Tom Catter's Discount Kits. He's asked me to do a review on it. It's completely unbiased review. It's my own opinion and that's all it is. It's just my opinion on it. So We'll have a quick look at the box first before we dive in and see what we've got. Lovely bit of rock box art. They do look a lovely aircraft does the uh, F-106. Tells you here you've got a couple of cockpits, two main landing gear tyres of different periods. You've got some various weapons including missile cases and a trailer. A complete weapons bay and inlet ducts. An MA-1 fire control system and radar interiors. You've also got, it states, easy to build PE parts. We've got on this side of the box the Atlantic City International Airport 1988 one, the New Jersey. And on this one here we've got the Maguire Air Force Base 1960. So you've got quite a bit of a difference in age from 60 to 88. This side here has got another one, and this one's the 1977, and it's for the Great Falls International Airport. They're all military versions as well. This is the Convoy, Convair, sorry, Convair 106A Delta Dart Interceptor. It states there, and you've gotten a little bit about the actual aircraft itself. Then it tells you a bit about the kit. Now, you've got the length is 300, and the width is 162 millimeters tells you here a little bit more about the actual what you get with the kit very similar to the front and that's it for the box there's a little bit on the side but it's very similar to the front it's just a picture so let's open the box let's get in and see what we've got right first off you've got a nice little instruction manual that's a little there's quite a few there and it seems to be, well I thought it might have been coloured but it's in black and white but it's looks alright, looks nice. We've got coloured pictures at the back but we'll have a look at that in a second. We've got one, two, three, four and that one's five bags, bags of sprues. There is du duplicate sprues in them. You've got an Canopy bag, or, or should I say clear parts bags? You've got a small photo etch set there. Looks like there's a couple of nice little pieces on that, and you've got quite a large decal sheet. So, first off, we'll do the instructions because I like to get them out of the way. So, I'll just move my box so I can then bring the instructions back. Nice colour on this side, looks nice, it's a nice nice glossy-ish paper. That's all in uh, Chinese or whatever Japanese, whichever it is. And you've got, starts off down at the bottom here, a little bit about the aircraft telling you. And it's quite a detailed section telling you all about the aircraft there. I find a lot of these are really worth a read because they tell you a lot of nice stuff about the actual uh, shift that I've got bits all over on the thing I've been modelling earlier it's better tell you a nice bit about the actual uh, aircraft itself we'll keep going that looks more of the same so we've got I can't understand that most of that what we've got all we have we've got a bit of English oh it says reading structure yeah it's so far down We've got, there is in English, but it's just telling you what tools are recommended, your knife, your, your, your snippers, your glues, different pliers, and it's telling you about our thought, decal application as well. There. So we're starting off with number one, and number one is the seat. So you're making the seat up first, two, I believe it is where the looks of it, yeah, looks like two seats. You've got an instrument panels. You've got, yeah, two seats, obviously. Uh, you, <laughs> you, you're putting the seating into the cockpit tub, as they call them, and you're getting it all assembled, so you're starting to come along now more and more, and you're getting more down into 
you're doing undercarriage of the by the looks of it. I don't know if you can do wheels up or wheels down, I'd have to have a look further in. Usually you can. We've got engine sections being made, that's quite a lot on your very first page. We've gone from seats, cockpit, wheels, engines. On, on That's on page one, we're only on part three here. So it looks like you're putting all of them into the actual main section here, you've got your cockpit going in, all of this. I do tend to leave my wheels off until end if it's possible because I tend to break them off by mistake. I'm not the greatest with my fingers and you're moving further down and we get into the connecting the wings. The wings and the main all section going together. You've got the tail section going together here. This looks like it might be one of those where you're putting the tail section on after, which is quite nice where it's going across and you ain't got that great seam you have to sand. Yep, that bit there. There it is, sorry. That bit, that stops having to sand a great seam down. And it does my head in that when you have to do that, but it, it's what it's been for years. Putting more of the wheels on underneath. And again, more of the framework for it. The undercarriage doors. Again, more of it, one section tender. They are packing a lot in into each section. Uh, weapon bay doors assembling out, so by the looks of it, it's up to you if you want to have them open. So you've got the doors by the looks of it shut, and you've got the doors by the looks of it open here, so you can have them like this. Looks like you're putting where your framework is, and underneath there, you can see more of it there. That This looks to be a very, very detailed kit, there. a very detailed kit with all of that. And then you've got an weaponry, all different weaponry from your missiles, your bombs, drop tanks, whatever it is. Again, coming on more and more of those. There's your trolley for whatever it is, missile bombs, whatever you're going to be carrying on them. You've got an under here, more by the looks. Yeah, this is your bomb bay for putting them in. And you've got then this simple, uh, well, that's a simple diagram just showing you where you put in like these drop tanks and stuff like that and you've got some more weapons going in Bombay that must be one heck of a full Bombay at the front here and again look, like I say very detailed it looks very good it's got an, a lovely little section showing your radar and all the other parts around obviously you can leave these open so you can see it you've got a an extremely well detailed kit here by the looks of it, where a lot of times you're having to buy these parts to add to it. And again, coming around, you're finishing off, you've got your boarding ladder as well there. Very nice. You have got a sprue list showing you all the parts on the sprues, including your PE parts, your clear parts, and also your decal section. And then we get now to the decal sections. You've got the one the two. It's also showing you the bombs for making them if you pop in uh, the colourings and that. And there's the three. That's your three actual uh, ex uh, uh, paint schemes. I'll get there in the end. But <laughs> on this one, very last page by the looks, this one's just detailing the colours that you can get actually. For, what, or what you would help for you to get to help you paint the actual kit got quite a list and it's got um it's got the Vallejo version and I, ca I can't make any others it's but it has got Vallejo and you should be able to cross reference then which ones like the Vallejo to the Tamiar or to the Mr Colour or whatever else you're wanting to use but although Vallejo paints I will be honest I don't like them so that's the instru instruction booklet done we will now start with the parts we'll go for this one first I have no idea what we're getting first or whatever but We'll go for this. We'll just get that out of there. That bag to the side. Right. First off, it looks like we've gotten tail sections, some engines, pieces. It looks like it's very mixed up sprues, so you might be swapping about a lot with them. I have no idea what that is or these other parts, but yeah. Might be part of the radar section there at the front, can't be sure. But the parts are nice, clear, crisp. You can see nice and nice, easy to get in with your nippers there. 
which is it always helps i find if you can get him easily with nippers you're not damaging the parts and getting them off but there's no flash at all and it looks very well detailed lots of rivets panel lines all nicely sunken in i can just feel them nice there yeah very well detailed that so that is sprue c i'll hold it up the right way might help that part's going to have them both glued together so it might be a case of forget what i said earlier about the seam line you may still be doing some sanding when them two are together i was hoping that was a single piece that bit but it's not but other than that that looks really really nice we'll get this one out the bag This one, we've got a part there that's slightly bent over. I don't think it matters. It's like the no section, but you've got a sprue D, and this one looks like part of the. I think it's either the Bombay section or it's the frame. I can't be sure. It's got little stubs on it, might be the frame, but unless I actually dove into the instructions a lot to check. But you've got some of the bombs here, and you can see there they've got some nice detail on them there in fact it's not nice it's fantastic it's brilliant more detail like i say more of the engines there's no detail in them sections and there's massive sprue stubs there that you might have to cut off i'm not 100 sure but you wouldn't want them getting in way of stuff you've got a lot of nice uh like crisscross panel in there yeah can't see any flash at all no slightly misaligned on the spruce so yet you've got a lot of sanding or anything there's nothing there that i can see that you're really doing to it that yeah that's that's good sprue d there this looks like two of this it is two of the same sprue i can see into the bag to see that so i'll just do one as soon as you get two of the same but you can see there two f's and we've got, by the looks of it, fuel tanks, whatever, more of the bombs, missiles here. We've got some wheels here. You should just be able to see the wheels. They're pretty damn good and all. You can't knock them. Again, more with the wheels this side. These look like part of the bombs where you're putting the fins and stuff like that on them. Again, no flash. Beautiful. The plastic feels really nice. It really does. It's nice smooth it's not oily doesn't feel like it's cheap it feels good plastic and i say that don't feel like it's cheap as if I, I could tell difference in reality i probably couldn't but it just feels like a good plastic we're coming up to this next one and this is the main wing sections this one let's go look at all that. that that is a massive lot of detail there on those wings i'm hoping you can see it without light on it that's that really is some damn good wings on the side there look look at all them panel panel lines those rivet detail a hell of a lot that looks absolutely cracking and here we've got this bombay section you, you've Got, I mean, if you're going to get a kit of this quality, in my view, you've got to utilise this if, in reality. But if you don't want to, you don't want to. But it, to me, make the best out of what you've got, and this is certainly part of it. But you don't often get a good Bombay like this on, an, on uh, models. The opposite side looks like there's a little bit there for the undercarriage, what you're seeing. But other than that, it's like that. You've got here, you can see these where they've been punched out from them all but if you look at the other side there's not a single mark now every now and then you get some kits and they'll be rubbish like that and you will get the marks but i cannot see any marks where that's come from so that's a good one it looks good it looks a really good kit at the minute that's sprue b i don't think you can knock that and the last sprue sorry i thought that was the last one but this one we're under it 
and then this one looks like more your Bombay doors and stuff like that. It is, you can see. So you've got your Bombay doors, you've got probably undercarriage doors, we've got the C tier part of them. More, I think these are for your nose, for your sides, so you can open the nose up so you can see that radar. There's a bit of detail here, we've got the seat belts for the seat. Yeah, Be beautiful looking kit, really is. Um, that is a um, spruity, holding again wrong way around, but yeah, spruity there. All the sprues look fantastic. I ain't seen any real flash, anything like that on any of them. We've got a bag here, and it's a different, a little bit different because if you look, we've got the bag is separated into one part section there, and this is separated into two there, two different cockpits. That will open. This side first, and it looks like it's also in its own separate bag. It is, up. we've got it in its own separate bag there. So, but you've got part of the, the cockpit there, no, well, the canopy, should I say? And you've got some small parts. There's two, four, five small parts there. This is sprue H altogether. That looks okay, looks nice, looks clear, nice, clear plastic. Put it back in that because uh, I like to make sure that the okay easily scratched in part. Once they are, they're really hard to polish back out. We'll do this side now. This is your two, it says canopy. So you've got the two different, I think this will be your late and your uh, uh, early ones. I don't know which is which, couldn't tell you at the moment. But again, we've got it in a little protective bag. This is Sprue J. Oh wow, that is good. That is really clear. That is crystal clear through there. You've even got, by the looks of it, and I'm presuming these are the fine lines of what possibly the... Running down there. It's, is it the uh, thingy wire or whatever that run through it? Cannot, I cannot, can I feel that? I don't like scratching it. Just, just faintly feel that, so you might be able to mask that and just feel them. They're not a very deep one. This is it on the inside, more no, we have got a big lump there on the inside, but yeah, that you're going to take some mask in these. I'll tell you straight, it's not they're not very deep, recessed in it. Yeah, that might be a little bit fiddly. That's one of them anyway, that's the J. And we've got the G. Although they don't seem to be a great deal of difference, but then again I don't suppose there would be. And the G is very similar. Again, it's it's crystal clear, it's, it's so clear, it's unbelievable. Looking through it, I can see through it, it's that good. And you don't normally get that with these parts. A lot of the time they're a bit foggy, a bit blurry when you're looking through. Yeah, can't knock them at all. Absolutely beautiful. But four to which parts? I'm not going to take these out of this. I like to leave them in. They're really. Oh, come on. Yeah, leave it. I'll let, you can see. You've got some. I'll turn it the right way around. You've got some instrument pieces there. There's two. No idea what some of the other parts are for, they could be for anywhere with me, I could not tell you. There's no point me even guessing, but you've gotten so many parts, that looks to be your most intricate one, it's quite a big piece. But these, they don't look too bad for folding and doing whatever you have to be with that, it's only that one. You might have to be careful with that one. And then we've got the decals. We have one, I can get them out and stop throwing them everywhere. Oh. Oh, no. It does help to have them in these bags like this because you can put them back after, reseal them up. Less likely to get anything on them or get damaged, but. Mm -hmm. Gotta get them out first, my goodness. There we go. Put that to the, side there. the decals look. Okay, I cannot see any markings anywhere, no. 
so there's a bit of a smudge there but it's not on a decal up to we've got some of that instrument panel so obviously putting parts on part and then decal and then like that they look quite good actually you've got I can even read like that US Air Force like that you can read some of these are that close danger danger like that so yeah they're a thin decal they're not a fat one be careful with some of your decal solutions because they might melt them a bit. I've, I've, I've never used them, so I couldn't say. But they do look a good decal. But yeah, overall, looks a fantastic little kit. A lot of plastic, but saying that, it is, I mean, it's a, a newish kit. I mean, I'm looking here at scale mates and it was new tooled in 2016. It's not from an olden by the way, so it looks like it's just a complete new tool, everything about it. Doesn't look like they've done any add ons, any extra ones, different versions. So, this is the only one you're by the looks that you can get from Meng. But price wise, on scale mates, in for Britain, British side, it's looking at about 35 quid for it from Scale Model Shop. They do have them in stock. It's quite expensive for a 172 scale kit, but like I say, uh, this I was supplied for by Matt Baxendale and ask him on Tom Catter's discount kits. Look up on Facebook, just put Tom Catter's uh, discount kits on Facebook in search, it'll come up, join the group. It's a great group. You meet. There's a load of people like me. There's loads, loads of on in the air. There's little competitions are done day, uh, monthly and stuff like that. And there's a lot of help you can get with making kits if you need help or whatever. Get on there. All you have to do is ask Matt Baxendale for a price for a kit. He'll get it for you if you want it. He'll tell you the price. If you want it, he'll get it. But, end up video as to say. And the usual be grateful if you'd subscribe give me a thumbs up if you if, if you would brilliant and stick around for day when I finally build this I hope you've enjoyed the video I'm really looking forward to building this one now and after seeing that that Bombay door yes indeed you don't often get that so I'm having some of that on it when I do it but I'll catch you all around later thanks for watching